graduating soon and thinking about um, her career. She'd like to have a career in HR management. And she's also someone who asked her, what are some of your favorite biographical movies? And she said it have to be about Marilyn Monroe or Beyonce. So we've heard her sing a little bit about Beyonce before, if you've come to our meetings before. So we, I guessed that when I didn't guess Marilyn Monroe. I said, many people are afraid of speaking in public. I said, what else are you afraid of? And she goes, well, I'm afraid of being alone the rest of my life. But I don't think she'll have to worry about that because she's a very social person. I think she'll have lots of friends. So join me in welcoming Ayin Nursetova. She gives her project number two, which is about organizing your speech entitled, My Definition of Beauty. According to Oxford Dictionary, the beauty is the quality of pleasing to the sense or to the mind. But really, what is the beauty? I guess we all have our own definition of this word, but today I will try to deliver my interpretation. At school days, I was very shy, calm, and silly somehow. Not only physically, but mainly here. <laughs> I usually compared myself to the others asking questions like, why am I not tall like that girl? Why do I have wavy hair is not the right one? Why my skin is not flawless? And you know, I just love to ask stupid questions. Um, being unsatisfied with your body and features are not good indeed because you may begin hate yourself, getting sad, or maybe even depressed. However, we were born this way and God made us beautiful. So how did I handle with these problems and accept this fact? Actually, I didn't. <laughs> I started to wear high heels in order to pretend like I'm tall. I was really vexed about my hair and I started to cutting them, straightening them, just experimenting and um, Oh gosh, what didn't I do with them? And now I just realized that I was thinking so small considering only appearance. And if you ask me who helped me to figure out the definition of beauty, I would answer time and people. We live in time where the technology is developing, internet is available almost all over the world, and when we wake up in the morning, we start to check our emails, Instagram, Twitter accounts, and we see the pictures of people who are considered as beautiful, successful, rich, active, and sometimes it makes us feel not good, right? However, we all have our imperfections and we're all different. And I personally think that imperfections that we have are given so that we can change them in a better way. Um, it's the reason to improve ourselves. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that that people are not born with this clean skin, shiny hair, and perfect shape of body, no. But because they work on themselves and they have the right habits. So I dig into this information and I start to learn about these right behaviors. So I start to eat healthy food, using lotions, you know, the good stuff. And you know, it took time, it didn't come in one day, it took time to learn about this right behaviors, including them into my daily routine, and as well as learning about my positive sides. But this is the only one part of the beauty. The other one is the inner state. I know it's all saying, but it's still true. You are who you surround yourself with. I don't know why, but I usually make friends with people who are older than I am, and they give so much good advices. They support you, they direct you, um, and finally they understand what you want to say. And I grew so much from this conversation. I stopped to ask questions, I start to act, concentrating more on things that I love, and it's just because I talk with the people. And now I understood that um, everyone, everyone has something unique, something which may inspire others. As my teacher inspired me to learn English, as my father inspired me to have my own principles in life, as my friend inspired me to read books, and as many people inspires me to move on and learn something every day. And now I understood that if you have some problem, try to solve it and try to find the best solution which will be best for you. It doesn't matter if it concerns to the products, cosmetics, maybe clothing, whatever, but something in what you feel very comfortable and confident. So beauty is not about having perfect appearance, but taking care of your health and body. Beauty is not about being clever, but upgrading yourself and learning something every day. Beauty is not about copying someone, but being the best version of yourself. That's the real beauty to me. <laughs> Thank you, Ann.
should uh, like maybe write some feedback, one sentence to the speaker. Let me know. Maybe just talk. Oh. It's time to announce the winners. The best prepared speaker tonight is I'm.